Peace, family. Let's take a fresh minute and talk about black government, tech, and hostile takeovers. Right now, Mason, Tennessee, a predominantly black town with a black-run government, is slowly coming into prosperity. It used to be a white-run government, but all those folks got thrown in jail for fraud. Now, Ford is moving into the surrounding area, possibly bringing about $5.6 billion to the city and the surrounding areas due to its new plant, Blue Oval City, that's going to be making predominantly electronic vehicles. Now, the surrounding county of Mason don't like that. So they sent in the comptroller, John Munford, to tell the people of Mason they need to relinquish their charter, meaning pretty much sign over your rights as a city and come into the surrounding county or the state will take it over. Now, before Ford and Blue Oval City were coming around, the state of Tennessee and the surrounding counties were just going to let the people of Mason try to figure it out on their own. But now, that they stand to come into about $5.6 billion, or at least a piece of that, they want to take over the entire city. Check out how history is repeating itself. Hannibal's father warned him of those people across that water and told them, him, in essence, you gotta take the battle to them before they bring it to you. Now, Hannibal was cautiously trying to guard that front door of Africa from a rising, a hungry, Roman people. Now, the Carthaginians had had good relationship with the people of Sicily. And um, the people of Sicily did not want to join the other Romans in a fight against Carthage. But Rome wanted the trade in the Mediterranean. They didn't want to share it. They wanted all of it. And a jealousy grew among them about the city of Carthage to the point that they greeted each other in the morning and added, Carthage must be destroyed. Mm. Much love to the Voice of the Ancestors Instagram page for that clip. Make sure you guys go and follow them. But again, that clip showcases that this particular parasitic relationship is not new, it's centuries old. We can find parallels to this when it comes to Seneca Village, Bruce Beach, Rosewood, Black Wall Street. And the bottom line is, we must, by any means necessary, get land, run our government, circulate the bag, and of course, control our narrative and media. If there's anything else, again, that can be done for Mason, Tennessee, I'll be making sure to post it on my page. But until then, I appreciate y'all checking out this video. Peace.